All right, well, we are at the Goodwill today, and we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. This was the first piece that I noticed on the shelf, and unfortunately, you can see that she is missing an arm. She is absolutely adorable. I'm not sure if she is left in or not, but because she was missing her arm, I decided that we're going to pass on her, and I left her there on the shelf. Dagny is showing off this Betsy planter because she originally wanted to change her name to Betsy. And so she is revealing this truth to me right now. And I thought, you know what? Betsy is not a bad name. I, I, I could see why you would want to do that. <laughs> We've got a little figurine here. And these Funko Pops, I, I looked at them at one point and everyone was telling me I should have bought them and I left them behind. And so now I've got that regret. And so I look at them every so often, but we've got this little art glass apple, which is a lot more appealing than the Funko Pop. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I really liked the art glass apple and I did stick that into my cart. Here on the end cap, I spotted this tiki mug and I have been trying to find tiki mugs to kind of merchandise our new tiki set that we acquired not too long ago uh the entire Whitco set uh we need some tiki mugs the whole set is kind of tiki style and so tiki mugs are definitely definitely a thing and so i'm trying to find some tiki themed pieces to add to that Back here, I noticed some vintage glassware, but it just, I didn't see a very high resale value for the hassle that it would take to ship. And so I did pass on that. These were amazing. I believe these were Barbatine is the style Barbatine. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, there was some damage on them. And even though we looked them over, you could see the, the yellow piece was missing a petal. The one on the right was also missing some petals. And it just, it was a little bit too much damage to overlook. And so we left those behind. Dagny noticed this nice little swan here with the plastic flowers. In the back, I liked this creamer and sugar set. Unfortunately, you could see that the sugar was missing the lid. It seems like everything seems to be missing lids lately. It's like a missing lid conspiracy. Dagny found these really adorable little pea pods. And we were trying to figure out what these were. And so she did kind of play with them a little bit. And I could kind of make out that one said first tooth and first hair lock or something to that effect so i think they were just little keepsakes they were very adorable but she did decide to leave those behind we've got a block of cheese and sure enough there was a little mouse posing in the block of cheese and i thought this was adorable it was made out of stone or some material to that effect and there was a little mouse hanging in there and that that really made it i think i would have left it behind if it was just made of stone but because there was a mouse in it that really sold me on this piece. And we were, we were tapping it, trying to figure out, is it resin? What is this made out of? Eventually, we decided it doesn't really matter. It's really cute. We'll take it with us. Uh, we've got a little owl there. We decided the owl need, it, it belonged with its owl friends. And so we put them all together on the shelf. They were Taiwan. There you go. They're, they're all together there. They will find a home. Not with me. But somewhere. I liked this basket, but I just did not see a whole lot of resale value there. And I found the praying hands today. I feel like I won. I won that game. There was some carnival glass on the shelf. This was a marigold carnival glass. The carnival itself, the iridescence, was very light. Ashton's singing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the carnival itself was very light. But it was a nice piece, and I decided that I would stick that in my cart. The 
Dagny found this very sad little figurine on the shelf and his little butt said, don't spank. I mean, it was, it was pretty sad. We left him there. But I found this really pretty little bowl and I actually considered it for 99 cents, but I figured it was probably an eight, eight dollar item, five to eight dollars. And I just didn't see it really worth it. So I left it. This little bag contained a hand painted egg with a little pedestal. It had a Canadian goose on it. And I know a lot of my viewers from Canada are like, that's not a Canadian goose. Um, <laughs> Here in America, we call them Canadian geese. We've got a bowl here, and I decided to look at this. It is a false graph. Dagny actually pointed out the fact that when she first got married, she she had that pattern of false graph. This is a Farber wear holder for Cambridge glass and so I was really interested to see if I would be able to find the piece that goes into this I put it in my cart for a dollar 99 hoping that I would be able to find the rest of it I did not but I was just kind of hoping I was holding on to hope these looked like they had been made in Mexico for your margaritas and I dropped something on the floor so I had to pick that up and fix it These plates right here had a really weird texture. They were almost like a chalkboard texture and I wasn't sure if they were old or if they were modern and I just decided to leave those behind. Over here, these did catch my eye. They kind of had that far Farberware base, but they had a really neat glass insert. When I turned them over, they were Czechoslovakia. Unfortunately, you can see they had some chipping there. Dagny pointed out that some of them did not have chipping, and there were two with chips, two without, and I decided that I would take them with me, because the two without chips I could sell, the two with chips, I might include them as extras, but they were really neat, and the Czechoslovakia was a seller for me. You guys know I have a soft spot for Czechoslovakia. This piece was interesting. I wasn't sure exactly what this was, and... It seemed to be damaged. Unfortunately, there was something missing off of the top there. It looked like it was adhesive or something, that something was maybe attached to the head, and it had been lost. So I left that there on the shelf. There were actually two ashtrays here on the shelf. There was one for Hyatt and also a second ashtray, and I did leave these behind. There's not a super high resale value for these. There is some resale value, but I just didn't see a whole lot, and so I did leave those. And then this frog. I, I really liked this frog. I think this was an ashtray, possibly, and there was some damage there, some chipping. I liked the leaf art as well, but again, I left it. You can see Dagny found this really large decanter, and I could have swore we've had pieces similar to that before. I just could not place it. Now, Walter ended up taking my wireless speaker for his own use, and so I no longer have a wireless speaker, and I spotted this on the shelf, and I decided that I could use this, and I could put it to good use, and I'm very cheap when it comes to electronics, and so I decided that I was going to buy this test it out and hopefully it works because I could definitely use a wireless speaker and so I decided to purchase this and I think it was just a few dollars and so if it doesn't work it's not the end of the world. These two little cups were adorable. They had little cow faces on them and we were a little confused until I turned them over and I realized you know what those sit perfectly level and so I think they're meant to be sitting and then when you drink them you get the cow face on the other side so these were really cute there were two of them they were kind of different faces I think one was maybe smiling or winking and so I did decide that I would stick those in my cart these dragonfly lights were also really neat I thought you know what I could put those on my Christmas lights on my porch and then it's not so tacky because I don't have my Christmas lights out all year round suddenly there are dragonfly lights and not christmas lights and it's acceptable 
but I, I really wasn't that committed. <laughs> We've got some Duplo Legos. I thought of picking those up for our neighbors, but I don't know how much they're into really Legos, so maybe not. This is a Jim Shore figurine. I pick these up from time to time. They're usually broken though. I just don't know why, but they usually are. And unfortunately she is missing her wings. I had spotted this lamp the last time I was here at the Goodwill and it's still there. I like this lamp. It's very retro. It's very vintage. It's cool. This one is also really neat. This is a nursery lamp. Obviously it's Humpty Dumpty. It's $3.99. It's really cool. It's missing its original shade, but I feel like it's at least 20 bucks. And if I've only got four bucks into it, I can list it for 20 to 25 and I could still do all right on this. So I decided that I was going to live up to my name, Crazy Lamp Lady, and purchase this Humpty Dumpty lamp. Oddly enough, Juliet and I were at Target the other day and she was actually looking at buying one of these new. And let me tell you, they're pretty, they're pretty spendy. I mean, new toys in general are pretty spendy. This is only $1.99 at the Goodwill. And I figured, you know what? I knew there was a reason we left that behind. And it was because I was destined to find it at the Goodwill for $1.99. And so I decided to stick this in my cart. Dagny found this adorable little piggy bank with the florals on the side. And there was no damage on it at all. It was in really good condition. It was really cute. We were fortunate enough that they were restocking as we were there, and that's why we, we are revisiting the shelves over and over again. You could see the the, sh the stocking cart there at the end of that aisle, but they are restocking, so we're kind of just going down the shelves over and over again. This piece is Portugal. I called it before she turned it over. I bet you that's Portugal. Sure enough, it is. I love when that happens. <laughs> this vase, it looks kind of like it was made of sand, like a sand castle vase. I made that up, but it was, I mean, nothing really special that I know of. And then I found the cat's meow little village pieces. And I don't usually pick these up unless I can get them pretty relatively cheap. And these were really like $6.99 for the whole bag. And I just decided, you know what, that's a pretty good price. I'm going to grab those. Some of them have a pretty decent resale value. Some of them are not so great. But when you get a big bag like that for as cheap as that, it's totally worth it. And then we found this. <laughs> this is McCoy. This is a McCoy vase. There were two items on the shelf. And I said to Dagny, you pick one and I'll pick one. So she picked the McCoy vase and... That left me with this, and I absolutely loved this green glaze on this set. I'm not sure if this is a nut set or what exactly it is, but I love the green glaze. So I gave her the choice of picking one, and I decided that I was going to choose this, and I, I just absolutely loved it. So we both got something we loved, and we were debating whether or not it was there the first time we came through, and we just missed it because we were so focused on the barbatine. But I think as they were restocking, they set it up on the top shelf. So there you go. That's the benefit of waiting until the shelves are stocked because you come across these amazing things. And there's another apple. Go figure. Look, there, there's another apple. Almost identical to the last apple. They're just, they're popping up everywhere. Now we have two. They're great for teacher's gifts. This, this was curious. I mean, whatever. Now there was some hand-painted china on the shelf, and you guys know I am a sucker for hand-painted china. I usually have to at least peek at it, and I did like those purple florals on that piece there in the front. There were some weird New Jersey mugs here on the shelf that Dagny pointed out, and they were made in England, but I wasn't really sure where these came from. But they were an interesting collection. They kind of had this really sandy texture that you could almost file your nails on, so we left those behind. And over here, I did like this bowl. It was Gibson, obviously. We had some hand-painted china there. Tiny found this, which was fresh eggs, and I was trying to figure out 
the purpose of this. I wasn't sure if you put your eggs in it and then you just rinsed it or not. Back there, I spotted some hand-painted china. And there was a stack of it. The second plate was the most interesting to me. Uh, because there was some moriage texture on it, you can see where it's kind of raised texture for $2.99. Unfortunately, it just really wasn't that outstanding, and so I did leave that. There was another cat's meow, but there on the bottom you can see that it does have some water damage. This had some weight to it, and so Dagny was checking this out, and she pointed out the, the bad, the bad berg, bad crevidubur. That had been a, a topic of discussion in a previous video. And so we finally made it to the clear aisle, and this is usually the last aisle that we hit, just because there's not a ton of greatness in this aisle. We found these. I wasn't sure exactly what these were. I'm just joking. We show these in almost every video, and every video people tell us what these are. We know what these are. <laughs> we, we know what these are. We just we show them in every video, and everyone tells us what they are in the comments. There was a nice little perfume bottle on the shelf, and it did have some etching on it. I didn't suspect it was terribly old. Probably vintage, not super old, and I left it. I did like the green on this mug, and it was a dollar ninety nine. Down here, I spotted these two blue pitchers. One was a crackle glass, one was just a normal glass. They were both blue though, and I liked the applied glass handles. For a dollar ninety nine, I figured that I could probably get anywhere from twelve to eighteen dollars for each of them, and so I decided that I would stick those in my cart. And then I spotted all of these lampshades after I checked this out. It was kind of weird. But these lampshades were really nice. The one Dagny picked up is reverse painted, which it means it's repainted, it's painted on the inside and kind of reflects outward. They were really nice and there were no prices on them. Um, I'm sure if we brought them up, they would price them. This Goodwill is good like that. But I really liked it. Oh, that one was priced for $2.99. It was the only one that was priced. But I really liked the lampshades. I probably could have bought them and made money on them, but it's just not something that I really wanted to mess with. I did, however, purchase this tabletop lighter for $2.99. It was very heavy and crystal, I believe. Dagny was checking out these ashtrays, and anything that you see Dagny pick up in these videos, you can find her shop linked down below in the Shop with Our Friends link. You, so if, if you're ever interested in anything that Dagny picks up, you can find it there. Such as these. She did pick these up, and these were just epic. Make extra money in your spare time. This is kind of what I do. I make extra money in my spare time by reselling, and it's fantastic. And if you're looking to do that, you can watch my videos. But also, you can develop poise and self-confidence through reselling. And maybe plan your vacation. And also enjoy it. <laughs> These books were so much fun. She did end up, she put them back and I'm like, you're not going to buy those. And then I kind of convinced her to buy them because they were just that epic. So she did end up buying those and they will be available in her eBay shop. So go check out that link because they are there. I convinced her. So one of the Goodwill employees just got done complimenting us on on how much they appreciate us because we don't grab stuff off of the carts when they're restocking. And th this was on one of the carts, and I was like, "Oh my God, can, can would would you mind if we just can can we take that off your cart?" And she was totally cool with it, but I loved this, and I love it for the Whitco furniture. And so she was very kind. We totally got the painting. <laughs> she was very nice. I Okay, so this ended up on the shelf, and there was a little boo-boo on the back. You can see there they touched it up with nail polish, but it was 1980s, and I was I liked it. And Dagny found this made-in-USA Lennox. 
And the Made in USA Lennox is a little bit more desirable than the Made in China. I believe it's Made in China Lennox. They started outsourcing their Lennox. And um, it is a nice piece. I love the, the design of it. I also love my duck. I mean, goose or whatever, bird. It's a bird. They touched it up. I mean, it's all good. I feel like, I feel like it's doctor approved. Doctor approved um, fix there. We've got a Salmon Falls creamer on the shelf. Check it out. That was not there before. I would have spotted it. It is a Salmon Falls pottery creamer. I love Salmon Falls pottery. And then Dagny found this. And it is another beautiful. You can tell they're restocking. We're, ha we're like suddenly we're, in over we're just having a moment. That is a Karen planter. It went back on the shelf. <laughs> Dagny just about lost it. Stay on the shelf, Karen. It's an inside joke. Because we're at the Lancaster Goodwill. We've got a planter here. And it's kind of like shaped like a calla lily. I think she paid $3.99 for it. I really loved the cream color. I thought it was nice. She stuck it into her cart underneath the <laughs> trap door that we had there. These mugs, they were made in China. There you go. Little trap door. They are made in China, but I really liked the style of them. I thought they were nice. I think the entire box was $2.99. So for the entire box, even made in China, I really liked them and I decided I was going to take the whole box. Even that little nightlight in there. It was like a freebie. This appears to be Sirocco wood, which is made in Syracuse, New York, where my family is from. And it is a horse. And I think that this is a tie holder or a belt holder. And I really liked it. And for only $2.99, absolutely. You don't see a lot of pieces with the horses on them. Usually it's dogs or cats. That's pretty much it. So for only $2.99, I decided that I would stick that in my cart. We've got some sand art here. It is marked on the back, but I just wasn't really all that sure about it. This decanter had some very mid-century lines to it. I really wish that we had some cups or some glasses to go with it. Unfortunately, it was only the decanter. But the lines, the colors, it was just too great. And I decided that for $2.99, I would grab it. This doll was on the shelf, and I wasn't really sure about this doll. Um, I liked I liked her. I felt like she was vintage. There was no price on her, and they did price her at the checkout. I can't remember how much we ended up paying for her. I think 99 cents. But she was fantastic, and I'm not really sure her origin. So if you know anything about this doll, please leave it in the comments, because I'm not really an expert on dolls. I usually avoid them. <laughs> and then we found this. And I brought this home. I knew I had to have it. I brought this home, and Andrew is constantly quoting Chris Farley. He's like his favorite. And so I saw this, and it's already in the frame. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. And I decided, you know what? I need this. I need to give this to Andrew. He's the, the only person that needs this. And so I brought it and for 99 cents. Absolutely, and I gifted it to Andrew. Before we left the store, we did go through the purses, and I found this princess purse. I like the princesses on the front. It had a, a nice little variety of princesses. I looked inside. It was marked Disney Parks or something to that effect, and so I feel like that's kind of official, Disney Parks, right, Disney? So I really did like this purse, and I figured if there's no resale value, I will gift it to Juliet. I also found this one, and we looked up comps on this fortune duck. Didn't find a whole lot of resale value in that one, so we left that one behind. I think it was a resale value of like $15 to $25. And then finally, we did end up finding these USSR pieces 
they wheeled out a new cart and just left it there by the door. And these were all sitting in the brand new cart. Uh, no one was messing with them. They were just sitting there and we were like, okay, well, if nobody's going to grab those, I guess we'll grab them. And they were just absolutely beautiful. And so we bought them, we split them between the two of us. And I took a few pieces, Dagny took a few pieces, and it was $4.99 for all of them. So it worked out. All right, well, I feel like that was a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill. It was pretty great that they were restocking as we were there. I think there was three or four employees bringing out new stuff as we were there. And it, you know what? I can't tell you how satisfying it is to find fantastic things on the shelf. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could stand and camp at the door, but it's so much more satisfying when you find it on the shelf. It's like, especially with that McCoy vase was just like, oh, and we walked down that very same aisle and it was just sitting there waiting for us the second time around. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We are going to head out of here now. We're going to someplace new, but you guys are going to have to wait for that video and uh, we'll see you later. All right, bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.